Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, well, <laughs> we're in November. We are officially in the launch month for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. The games come out on November 19th, and in this video, in the lead up to the next couple weeks of some really good, very well planned, if I, if I do say so myself, BDSP content on the channel, I wanted to talk a little bit about how we got here, what you can expect from the channel in the coming weeks, and what we can expect from this game's release as a whole. So with that being said, let's jump right into things. Now we are just a couple weeks away from Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl finally coming out. It has been a very long road since these games were first announced back in February, if you guys can believe it. I mean, just think about what the games looked like back then. The games looked rough, I will not lie. I defended them back then because one, I felt that that game footage is not final tag was true, and I also felt that games just look different, you know, 10, 11 months before they release. But we also saw Legends Arceus, and it felt like it was Pokemon's goal to almost show us what they were doing so we would calm down a little bit. And they did it, everything was calm for a while, and then once the summer came and everything started to ramp up, we saw what BDSP was going to be in its entirety. These are faithful remakes of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, with some Platinum content sprinkled in because Platinum is the ultimate version of the Sinnoh region. We're going to get to play through the Sinnoh region on the Switch. In order to play through some people's favorite region, it is my favorite region, we no longer have to go back to old hardware. We no longer have to find our DS games hidden away in our closets or in our game cases. We don't have to blow off the dust on our Nintendo DSs or 3DSs and boot up a game that came out over a decade ago. You can find a Switch, which is readily available everywhere, which a lot of people have, and you can play the Sinnoh region as it was intended. And I understand that there's a lot of people who are kind of disappointed, at least based on my comment section, that these games didn't go the Oras route, which was taking Ruby and Sapphire, upping it to what Pokemon was at the time of X and Y, and also adding a bunch of modern amenities. BDSP are more faithful. They're not looking to add crazy extras that the games didn't already have, but they are still bringing in quality of life improvements, and I think that's notable. So ultimately, I think BDSP is going to sell well, and I think the reception is going to be decent because people love the Sinnoh region. Obviously, if you had problems with the originals, these games aren't going to solve a lot of those problems. These games are going to be very similar to the originals. But I think ultimately, most Pokemon fans, especially with the fact that Legends Arceus is going to be coming a few months after these games, I think most Pokemon fans are willing to accept what BDSP is. But what are we going to do here on the channel to celebrate BDSP? That is an entirely different discussion. Let's talk about that too. Now, before we discuss that, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe at any time if you don't like my Pokemon videos anymore, which if you unsubscribe, I might understand because sometimes, you know, I'm not the best analyzer. I don't really... <laughs> Sometimes I criticize myself a little too much as well, but subscribing is free. So if that button is still red, be sure to hit it. You can unsubscribe at any time. And if you subscribe, you will never miss another upload, which if you're subscribing to a channel is the goal, I would presume, at least I would hope. So what is the plan for the channel? What is the plan for BDSP content? What are we going to be doing here? Well, we're going to be doing coverage videos for the next three weeks as to various gameplay topics of BDSP. We're going to be talking about what my team is going to look like for my first run through of Brilliant Diamond, which would be the game I'll be playing. We're going to have an early impressions video once the game comes out. And at one point in the next couple weeks, we are going to have a discussion video with one of my friends. He's going to join. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be a fun time. Up until the release of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, barring any crazy Legends Arceus news, we are going to be focusing strictly on BDSP content. Once the game comes out and once people have experienced the Sinnoh region again and have played through it, Legends Arceus content and other Pokemon content will return to the channel. But until release, we are going to be focusing on BDSP. As for when the game comes out, I'm still a little undecided on what to do. I'm not going to be doing a series, basically me playing through Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. That's just not, you know, what this channel is. I'm not a Let's Player. That's not why you guys subscribed to the channel. I do discussion videos. I do reviews. I do analyses. I don't do playthroughs. So we're not going to be uploading a specific series of me playing through Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It's just not going to happen. 
Now, the one thing that I have been throwing around is doing a live stream. A lot of Pokemon YouTubers do this who don't typically let's play through these games. They turn on their stream, they load up the game, and they play through it for people to watch. I'm a little undecided on that as well, but I would love to ask you guys here. Would you want to see a live streamed playthrough of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl on the channel? It would happen probably on launch day. I can't tell you how many hours it would go for, but we'd want to get through a significant portion of the game on the first run through, and then probably do a second live stream after that to continue playing through it. I would want to finish it that weekend. That would be the goal at least. That way I can get to covering the game now that it's out. I just, I would only want to do it if there'd be a significant number of you guys who would want to watch that. Obviously, I'm a smaller channel, I'm not huge, I wouldn't have hundreds of viewers probably watching my playthrough. So if you would like to see a live stream of me playing through the game when it first comes out, let me know down in the comments. I would be totally open to doing it, I'd have to get some series packages made for graphics and things of that nature, but I would absolutely be open to doing a live streamed playthrough of the game, as long as you guys want to see it. If you don't, you can be perfectly honest with me as well and tell, tell me in the comments you just want to see discussion videos, analysis videos, eventually a review for the game once I play it. That's fine too. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna hurt my feelings if you don't want to watch me live stream the game. That'll be perfectly fine. As for when the game comes out, there will be a review at some point, probably within the two weeks after the game comes out. And then we're gonna do a bunch of coverage videos. We're gonna do some of the best music from the games once we hear the soundtrack. We'll analyze, you know, maybe there'll be DLC for the game, how it connects to Legends Arceus. Are there any new story pieces that have been added? Talking about some of the new features, how are the underground uh, cave and cavern systems where you can find other Pokemon, the Grand Underground? How is Cyrus and his Team Galactic story formed in these games? How does it connect to Platinum, etc., etc.? We're gonna cover everything once these games come out. So when they eventually do come out, there will not be a lack of BDSP content on the channel. There will still be plenty to talk about because the games will be new and people will be playing them. When will home support come out? We know it's coming out in 2022, but when in 2022? That's a big question as well. So the next three weeks are going to be action packed. And I mean, I think it's just time. I think we're all ready. One of my previous videos over the month of October, back in the month of October, was talking about how people's expectations for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl seem to have changed. And a lot of you guys echoed some of the sentiments that I said in that video in the comments. And I think it's, it's definitely true that people are excited for these games. People are happy to return to a region from most of our childhoods. For a lot of people who are in their early 20s, the Sinnoh region is when they were growing up. They love the anime from that time period. They love the Pokemon cards from that time period. They love the Sinnoh Pokemon that we were introduced to, the starters, the legendaries. Dialga is tied with Rayquaza as my favorite Pokemon legendary. It's an incredibly nostalgic region, and to be this close to Diamond and Pearl remakes, after so many years of speculating on if they would ever happen, on if they really exist, is really gratifying. It's really exciting. I can recall back when Oras came out, me, I wanted to stay home from school or what was it? I left school early. <laughs> I pretended to be sick on that November day in 2014 to leave school early so I could go home and play through my copy of Alpha Sapphire the day it came out. And I just remember thinking, well, we finally have our Hoenn remakes. Next up is Sinnoh eventually. And we thought maybe, maybe during Sun and Moon, we'll get generation four remakes. And then Sun and Moon came, Ultra and Ultra Moon came, we didn't get it. And then we were like, oh, the Switch. And there were rumors and leaks as we were awaiting what we were gonna see on the Nintendo Switch that maybe they'd start off with Diamond and Pearl remakes. Now, of course, that was never legitimate. They were never gonna start off a new console with remakes. But we got Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And that was a curveball. And then eventually we got Sword and Shield. And everyone looked at the patterns of remakes and new generations and thought, okay, if the pattern continues on off generations, we get a new game, then we should get Diamond and Pearl remakes. And people started to begin to speculate as to what they would look like on the Sword and Shield engine, how they would work with the features of Sword and Shield. Would we get Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing in Sinnoh? Would Mega's return, which is everyone's favorite discussion point? And then when they got revealed, they were very different. And it's created some resentment within the community for sure. But I think most of the community is decently excited for these games. And I'm really happy to see that. We're finally here. It's going to be an awesome release cycle. If you guys are excited, be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. And let me know, as I mentioned before, if you want to see me live stream my playthrough of it. Or if you just want to see coverage videos like I've been doing. Just, you know, after the game comes out. With that being said, hope you all enjoyed this video. 
I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.